CBS presents this program in color. Thank you, and welcome to our show tonight. Um, I'm really thrilled about it. I think it's one of my favorite shows that we've done so far. And our guests are uh, people that I have never had the opportunity to work with before. Um, first of all, I'd like to tell you we have Sonny and Cher with us tonight. And, uh, lady that I have loved for a long time and I've never had a chance to work with her before and this whole week has just been such great fun. One of the funniest ladies alive, Miss Nanette Fabre. Oh, you look fine. Don't worry about it. You know, I saw the things that Cher had on. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, the, 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 the yeah. thing, I feel like an old frump. Well, and I, look like one. But it, I thought this was short. I felt very self-conscious about it. And then I thought what I would do, I wanted to get your, want to see my cute little underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, well, you could tell me if you like this length. And I'll pin it up while you talk to them, and then I'll model it for you. <laughs> and then you tell me what you think. Uh, it, uh... <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Is that look any... Do I look any more mob this way or anything like that? <laughs> I love it. How about you? Just be careful when you sit down. <laughs> Uh, oh, before we get started, um, uh, could we turn up the lights so we can talk to the people? Are there, uh, are there any questions you'd like to ask that, uh, about this? Yes, ma'am. Are you a native daughter, Carol? Am I a native daughter? Oh, you mean from California? Uh, well, in a way, I was, I was born in San Antonio, Texas, but we moved here when I was seven. I was raised out here, and we I was seven years old when we came out here. <laughs> Fifteen years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How many times do you rehearsal? How many times we we don't? We just come in and do what we feel like. <laughs> <laughs> no, we start um, working. Uh, we started working on this uh, last Tuesday, and here we are. And we still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> You're cute. What's your name? Well, <laughs> are you married? <laughs> yes, a little boy back there. What are your measurements? What are my measurements? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 46, 24, 108. <laughs> In what order? <laughs> Yes. Tarzan Would I do my Tarzan yeah. <laughs> for you? Okay. Are you, you ready? <clears throat> I learned this when I was. <laughs> me, me, me. Okay. <clears throat> When I was a little girl, my cousin and I, uh, Janice, used to play together. And uh, we were the same age. And we used to play games like Nelson and Jeanette. And I was always Nelson. <laughs> She's a very pretty girl, see? Then we would play Tarzan and Jane. And, you know, I was. A, and this is my cousin sitting down here. That, stand up, cuz, Janice. <laughs> Yes, sir. Do you enjoy being TV's new sex symbol? <laughs> did you hear him? How did I enjoy being TV's new sex symbol? Isn't that divine? That's a... Male what? or female? <laughs> Thank you for asking that, Uncle George. You're such a smart mouth. How come you don't fire him? <laughs> I'll pay you 
you when you're sober enough to count it. <laughs> yes. yes, I do. I have a new album out uh, for RCA. And um, if, you, if you buy it, you'll be the first one. <laughs> Anything else? Yes, ma'am. Do I like to cook? I love to cook, but nobody likes to eat it. <laughs> Anything else? We're almost ready to start. Okay, don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome to VIP, the television program that moves its cameras all over the country in search of interesting people. And we will continue to do so until we find one. And now, here is your host on VIP, F. Lee Corman. Good evening. Tonight, we are departing from our regular format of visiting celebrities' homes and have sent our cameras to this lovely wooded retreat in Northern California. Each, each weekend, hundreds of nature lovers come here to enjoy sociability, sunshine, and health. Ah, one of the sun worshippers has just come into range of our hidden cameras. <laughs> Let's talk to him, shall we? Uh, hello there. Uh, hello there. Uh, hello there. Who said that? Oh, it's, uh, it's me, uh, F. Lee Corman. Oh! Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about nudism? Oh, no, I guess it'll be all right. <laughs> uh, are you sure? I have nothing to hide. <laughs> yes, I can see that. You can't him? No, 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 I, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, tell me, are you married or single? Oh, well, I'm single, but I have a boyfriend here. Oh, do you go steady? No, but we see a lot of each other. <laughs> uh, how is this nudist camp run? Oh, well, it's run very democratically. Um, uh, we, every season, we hold elections. Our president right now is a Mr. Johnson. You, uh, you have a president named Johnson? Uh-huh, and his wife's called Nudie Bird. <laughs> Uh, tell me, do you, uh, do you have any kind of a motto or s <laughs> I got the little devil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I was asking, uh, do you have any kind of a motto or slogan? Oh, no, but we have a camp song. Oh, what's it called? On a clear day, you can see forever. <laughs> Tell me, what kind of a social life do you have here? Oh, same as anywhere else. We have movies, parties, dances. Uh, uh, dances? Mm -hmm. How do nudists dance? Cheek to cheek. <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, how do your parents feel about your being a nudist? Oh, well, my parents are in favor of it. In fact, nudism brought my mother and my father together. My, uh, my, oh, yes, oh, yes. My mother, my mother, oh, you knew her? No, my, uh, my mother was a nudist. And what was your father? A policeman. <laughs> Carol Burnett Show is brought to you by the makers of Champion Spark Plug, used by engine experts the world over.
Good morning. You're late, and we have a lot of work to do. Is that so? Good morning. Yes, it is. So you'd better get started. Well, okay. <laughs> it's cold in here. Well, some people are more hot-blooded than others. <laughs> Darling, I'm cute. Yes, I'm pretty. Tiny. What are you doing? Mr. Martin will be here any minute. Well, I certainly hope so. I'm not doing this for you. <laughs> this is a business office. And good morning, Simpson. Good morning, sir. And a good morning to you, Miss Lamont. <laughs> Why, don't we look pretty today? Oh, we sure do. Oh, I just love you in that suit. I know. That's why I wore it. <laughs> <laughs> Simpson? Yes, sir. Here's a copy of the Acme report, the Wilson survey, and the Michaels account. I have 16 <laughs> copies made of each. Then I want you to pull the Webster and Dickerson files, bring them up to date. Yes, then sir. get in touch with Mr. Rivers at the bank over our gross income from 56 through 67, and then get me Jackson at the main plant. Yes, sir. Miss Lamont, I... Uh... Yes? Miss Lamont, would you... Yes. <laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're not busy, uh, would you get me some coffee, please? Oh, well, I'd just love to, Mr. Martin. <laughs> uh, no sugar. Why, of course not. You're sweet enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Simpson? Yes? Have you started on the... Is there something wrong with your arms? Why, no. Oh, there is now. Oh. Oh. What was that? My contact lens has popped out. Just don't be careful. Oh, that's terrible. You be careful how you walk around here, Miss Lamont. You might cut your pretty little feet. <laughs> Never mind. I have some glasses around here somewhere. Oh. Here's your coffee, Mr. Martin. Thank you, Miss Lamont. Well, I don't know what I'd do without you. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lamont. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> but I'd sure like to try. <laughs> Mind your own business, Mr. Magoo. Quick! <laughs> yes, Mr. Martin. Simpson, are those reports finished? Well, I'm sorry, sir. I haven't had time. Yeah. She can't. I have a very important project for Miss Lamont. Miss Lamont? Yes? I wonder if you would sharpen this pencil for me. Oh, well, I, I'll, I'll try, Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, the end without the eraser. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You do, and I'll fire you. There you are, Mr. Martin. Oh, thank you. That's fine. Perfect. Oh, good. Is there anything else, Mr. Martin? Yes, sir. Uh, get your pad and uh, bring it into my office, please. Oh, yes, sir. Ha! Simpson? Yes, sir. See that I am not disturbed. Yes, sir. Simpson, see that I'm not disturbed. May I help you? Oh, hello. I'm Mrs. Martin. <laughs> You're Mrs. Martin? Yes. 
us. The Mrs. Martin. Mr. Martin. Mrs. Martin. Yes. <laughs> a real jolly surprise. <laughs> I can't see very well without my glasses. Well, that must be a big help when you look in the mirror. <laughs> Who's talking? The Mamie Van Doren of the Stone Age. Now, that was funny. Oh, that was funny, Charlene. Oh, you know, maybe if we were to start over again, we could be friends. All right, Denise. I'm willing to give it a whirl. That's good. Let's try. We can maybe be buddies. We'll always be bosom buddies, friends, sisters, pals. We'll always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit I'm aware that my candid opinion may sting. Though often my frank observation might scald. That's true. You know, I've been meaning to tell you for years you should keep your hair natural like mine. If I kept my hair natural like yours, I'd be bald. <laughs> but darling, oh, we'll always be dear companions. My crony, my mate. oh yes, we'll always be harmonizing. <laughs> Orphan Annie and Sandy, my name is Sam Andy. If I say that your sense of style's as far off as your youth, it's simply that who else but I? Somebody will tell you the whole stinking truth. Each time that your friends have said that your face has been lifted eight times, straight to your side to defend you, I rush. You know that I'm there every time that the world makes an unkind remark. When they say poor Miss Lamont is the world's biggest lunch. <laughs> I say that your fangs are showing, dear, pulling your claws. It's simply that who else but a bosom buddy would notice the obvious flaws? I feel it's my duty to tell you it's time you adjust. 
adjust to your age. You try to be peg of my heart when you're Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Just how old are you, darling? The truth. Well, now, how old do you think? Oh, I'd say somewhere in between 40 and death. <laughs> That sweetie, I'll always be Alice Hopeless if you be Gertrude Stein. And though I'll admit I dissed you, I've gossiped and gloated, but I'm so devoted. And if I say that sex and guts make you love of my life for dessert I have baked with my own little hands your choice of baked Alaska or crepe Susan Blech. <laughs> this coffee is terrible Fooey, yuck. you call yourself a cook you're nothing a big fat zero and that goes for your mother too dishwater yuck. the next evening Identification. And now, back to the second half of the Carol Burnett Show. The past few years have seen a revolution take place in American music. Our next guests are two of the leaders of the new Wild Way Out movement. Here is Sonny and Cher. You better sit down, kids I'll tell you why, kids You might not understand, kids But give it a try, kids Now how should I put this? I've got something to say Your mother is to school all the time I know you'll do the things your mother asks She's gonna need you more so stay in line Keep in mind your mother's gonna need your help a whole lot more than she ever did before No more fights over little things cause I won't be here to stop them anymore I know you don't want this Neither do we But sometimes things happen That we can't foresee Now try to be calm, kids And don't look so sad Just cause I am leaving I'll still be your dad 
before you go to bed, make sure you get yourself to school on time. I know you'll do the things your mother asks. She's gonna need your muscle stay in line. Keep in mind your mother needs your help a whole lot more than she ever did before. No more fights over little things, cause I won't be there to stop them anymore. It's really 
a pleasure having you guys on the show. Where do you find those great songs you do? Well, so you write some. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, well, I bet you're constantly on the lookout for new songs. Well, not really, Carol. You see, I write all the songs for both of us. Oh, well, since you're of... always looking for new songs, no, I, I thought I... I might let you record a little number we wrote. No, <laughs> Thanks, well, Carol, but, like, he writes it. And... Yeah, well, great. I'll call my co-writer out here, and we'll do it for you. Harvey! Yeah. Harvey. Uh, <laughs> Harvey. Uh, Harvey. Sonny and Cher are dying to hear the song that we wrote the for them. The song that we... Yeah. Well, what'll I tell Simon and Garfunkel? Well, you tell them to write their own stuff. They're gonna do our song. Hit it, Harry. You'll love it. You'll love it. That you'd be on your own So I will never leave you You won't be on your own And I will never leave you You won't feel left alone Behind me, I lose my mind. I know, so I will stay behind me. Okay, then I will go. But if I go, then you must stay. Unless I stay, and you go away. But if you go, don't stay away. You must come back to me someday. You must come back. You must come back. You must come back. You must come back. Back, back, back. You know, with air travel becoming more and more popular, many people are using foreign airlines for the first time. Of course, each of these airlines takes on the national characteristics of the countries it serves. And tonight we'd like to show you uh, what the service might be on a few of those foreign airlines. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur, mesdames. Welcome aboard French Airlines non-stop flagship direct from New York to Gay, Paris. <laughs> For your information, this is flight 40, and I am 36, 21, 36. <laughs> now, would you uh, excuse me while I get uh, comfortable? Would the gentlemen please fasten their safety belts while I am taking off? <laughs> To make your trip more pleasant, instead of in-flight motion pictures, we will present the naughty French review, Les Nudes de Paris. <laughs> Is this any way to run an airline? Oh. <laughs> now, may I present to you your pilot, Captain Pierre Montan. <laughs> This is your captain dancing. Uh, for your information, I am the airline's number one pilot, uh, and I have flown uh, more than 10,000 uh, transatlantic parties. You will be flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. Of course, I will be flying uh, much higher. Huh? <laughs> now we will continue our flight in the French way. We will separate the married couples. <laughs> Hold me close and hold me fast. The magic spell you cast. This is la vie. Size. 
And though I close my eyes, I see la vie en rose. <laughs> When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from above. Every day words seem to turn into love songs. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be love. What would you like? Coffee? Tea? Or me? <laughs> to Japanese Airlines Flight 411. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I am a stewardess, Miyoshi Ganzamaka. This is two-section flight. This plane carry passengers. Second plane carry your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese customs on this flight. I wear authentic Japanese kimono. I wear Nihongami. In English, this means hairstyle. And this is called Obi. In English, it is mean a parachute. <laughs> If brain in trouble, I ready. <laughs> As for you, rot a rock. <laughs> Take a pleasure in introducing your honorable a captain. Choice yours. Say hello. I am Captain Yamaha Suzuki, a veteran of 12 kamikaze missions. We will cruise at 450 miles an hour and will land on first American ship I see. Present other stewardess, Taaka Kakamimi. Uh, hooray! <laughs> hooray! 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 Japanese 
a tradition. Uh -huh. Hey, Yank, how about you? What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to give you a traditional a Japanese bath. <laughs> <laughs> till second day. <laughs> now we will be flying over ocean at top speed of 12 miles an hour at altitude of six feet. I will try to avoid the big waves. Did you? All right. I'll give you another chance. <laughs> All right, it's time to contact the control tower, yeah? <laughs> Are we ready for takeoff? Off uh, where? All right, give me back my brick, you crook. They don't grow on trees. Wait, you want it? You're not growing, you be. They're all this. All right. We now take off for Budapest, the Belgrade, and Warsaw. How long before we get to Warsaw? Maybe a week. A week? Who's in a hurry to get to Poland? Three. What kind of food do you serve on this flight? Chicken! Proud <laughs> bird with the broken tail. What about liquor? What? What about liquor? Oh! You're in luck! This is champagne flight. <laughs> for takeoff. Hey, Stella. What? Here, hold this. <laughs> hey, Stella, how about give me a kiss for good luck, yeah? yeah I'm good. Oh, come on, Stella. Come on, Stella. Hey, pay attention. This is your in-flight entertainment. <laughs> My best uniform. <laughs>
been brought to you by new ultra bright toothpaste ultra bright gives your mouth sex appeal <laughs>